What's going on, you your boys? Welcome to Night72 back here, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger Definitive Edition. When we last left off, we finished off the uh, Genodome in the future, and we also need to take care of this uh, little desert, but it actually starts in the year 600. So, let us come forward. And as you can see, though, there's this little uh, drop of quicksand right here. We need to talk to Miss Fiona right here. Here at Fiona's Villa. My husband Marco is finally home from the war. I'm so relieved. Worry not, my love. I will, we won't be parted again. And he came back alive, too. He came back in one piece. Not back alive, but one in one piece. Okay, now... This part of the game is going to be... Well, this particular dungeon is going to be just a little complicated, though, because it requires anybody with you to have a uh, ice or, in this case, water elemental. So... Anybody with Water Elemental Magic, keep with you. I'm gonna keep Magus with me, I'm gonna keep Glenn, and... I was gonna replace him with Marley though, but... I do need to work on Magus' uh, magic too. So... Let's see what's going on right here too. Anything I plant dies before it has a chance to grow. It's the work of the monsters lurking out in the desert somewhere. And this desert... This young tree... This young tree is the one that has been cultivated throughout the ages, mysteriously resilient, that could surely restore this desert to a verdant land. But I daren't plan such a, such, a, such a small sapling out there, not with all the monsters nesting in the cave. They fear water. They seem vulnerable to it, though, but it's not the greatest to them. Water or no. I can only hope to slay the beast of my own. You know what? You're back at home for more. Let us handle that. So, to the sunken desert we go. Yep. I do love how the quicksand kind of just slowly just, just brings you in, but you know what, not to worry. Now, all the monsters here, you have to actually hit with water, or uh, ice if you will, and they become vulnerable. Perfect example. Okay, let's see. Ice 2. The sand rock is right here. Now, some of the enemies here, though, like I will say, though, they've got high defense, but if you hit them with water, that's when they become more vulnerable. Like this little Sir Crawley's right here. Ice 2. Okay. Water hardens decrease, uh, decrease uh, defense. So, yeah. Hit them with water, and then hit them with your swords, or with your sights. W -w whatever. And all of these treasure chests, I will tell you right now, they are bait for other battles. Damn it. There we go again. Lightning strikes. Now, you only get one chance in this desert area, too. The second desert, you only get one chance to do so, so grab every chest that you can. This place is not that difficult, but I will say, it is a time taker. It is a time, it's very time consuming. So really, all you really need, if you've got, if you've got a Glenn with you or a Froggy with you, if, uh, if you really want to do it uh, good and not worry about having to uh, use your water magic over and over and over again, have Magus with you, have Frog with you, and have Naughty or Marley, Marley with this guy in this case. Have Glenn, Magus, and Nadia. See? The battles just keep coming and coming too, so just lay into them. Gonna pick some more body armor. And Black Hole! Another great magic attack. I'm not going to use it on any of these guys, though, because they're, they're a little big. Though I, though I do think I can kill them with it, though. Because Black Hole, if, you, if they're in the area, it actually just brings them into this void. Alrighty. 
Aeonian suit. Yes. Damn it. Yeah, they're all over the place here. Hang on, let me see if I can use the black hole in here. Because if I can, this would end the fight really fast. I love how he just turns his back though and the big fucking void comes through. And it only kills one. Wow. Come on, Magus. Come on. Water hardens, defense reduced. There we go. Oh yeah. There's your proof right there. It doesn't have to be just magic. Okay. Yeah, you will go through a lot of uh, magic here, so... Man, keep yourself, you know, equipped with a lot of ethers. At this point of the game, though, you, can, you should be able to buy regular ethers by itself, too. Because you can micromanage your magic that way, too. <gasps> now, just do yourself a favor. So that fell beast is what changed the soul to sand. Plague some creature. So, dodge anywhere you can because you only get one chance to really get all these uh, all these treasure chests. So go get them and avoid the Renitites. I believe that's what he's, what he's called in this version. The Renitite. Memory cap. And high aether. Get up here. And a muscle ring. Let's see. We're gonna have to go into this fight at 100% as well. Okay, he's got everything that he needs right now. Boost damage. He forgot the power glue! I'll give him the magic ring. Rona will keep the rock band. And Glenn's good with what he's got. Alright. Alright, we are good to go. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Ah! And you gotta catch him, too. That's the only bad thing. You gotta catch him, too. He appears in the most random places at times, too. He's a troll, though. I'll give you that. He hadn't moved either. Alrighty. Now the Renitite, or I forget what he's called. I forget what he's called in this one. So, energy from the core. So, best thing you do right now is start is, uh, fight the core first. But first, when you do that. Now, it won't do any damage, however, water hardens in, so defense is reduced. There we go. Running wild without the core. Core is down. So he'll just keep himself, just keep his uh, body his uh, body hardened, and just start attacking. Oh yeah, that's right, he's got a, a laser spin too. Yeah. He's gonna get really annoying. Nice. There we go. Alright, let's keep everything water hardened up too. And at this point though, Chrono does hit the hardest so if you want to keep doing it. Or if you want to have Magus uh, keep using, uh, using uh, water magic. And have uh, Glenn and Frog. A Glenn and a Chrono, sorry, do an extra or shit like that though. It'll keep the fight going. Alright, what do we got? Plus, with that Wrath Band too, he'll counterattack with uh, critical hits too. Okay, we'll extract the bottom and then we'll keep it going. Defense boosted when it attacks. Uh, nah, I don't think so. 
Now, at this point, though, he really doesn't hit that hard, though, but it does all add up, okay? Mega Elixir it is. Mm -hmm. Keep his defense down. And let Chrono just attack. This will be time consuming. There we go. Just his upper body, buddy. Come on, buddy, what do you got? You don't have a bone with you. I got a bone to pick with you at this point, though. Leona needs to plant her trees. So what's to reveal the forest there, buddy? And, uh, you gotta get out of town. Matter of fact, go to the ocean, how about that? Hard up and never come back. Hard up and never come back as well. Oh, yeah. He does this, too. Alrighty. Nice. There we go. Just keep it rolling, just keep it rolling, baby. Keep it rolling. What a hard to send. Defense reduced. And an extract goes right to the torso. And just like that, he is done. Max level increase. Hmm. So let us get up out of here. Oh, yeah, there's a... Yes, a straight tab, too. Straight capsule. Alrighty. Now, for this, we also need to bring... Robo or T260, if you will, to the party. Probably should have brought him in here as well, but... Thank you for dealing with the foul creatures. Now I can set work to replanting again. Her life's work begins. Alas, I fear it will take ages to plant enough trees to reforest this land. Ah, if only there was someone who could toll the centuries on end. Then these wastes could truly be made green again. What do you think? I could remain here and, re and assist Madame Fiona, and you could come to retrieve me here once my work was complete. Is that alright? May I stay behind and help? Yes, UT60, you may. Okay, look. And this is what I love about this, though. From here on in, you'll see T260 uh, in the desert, planning and cultivating everything, too. <laughs> I love just how fucking useful he is. Right here, just, just planning everything through. We'll escape, come back. There he goes, planting. <laughs> planting more seeds. And he's being the scarecrow too. Look. <laughs> I love it. This is like one of my that's one of my favorite scenes here in front of the trailer. Alright, let's see. We don't need Nadia. Let's bring Magus back, shall we? Before we do that, hang on. Shelter in place. Now, let's come back to the uh, present, shall we? 40 years in the future! Alas, we have ourselves a forest. Fiona Shrine. This is Fiona Shrine where we give thanks to Fiona and Teacher 6 for reviving the forest scorched and the war against Magus 400 years ago. The remains of the vener venerable Teacher 6 to Earth Shrine in the Inner Sanctum. My hands are to the woven from twigs rich with the, myst the mystical entrance of the forest. Ah, okay. I forgot about this. She actually has uh, the stuff you can buy from her. And you know, we've already got some of these too. You know what? I guess we have 50 grand on for one, for one of those. And there he is in a shrine. He has been decommissioned for the time being, but he worked he worked for 400 years. Mm. Systems reactivated. Where where am I? Oh, Magus, how nice to finally see you again. Only a few moments may have passed for you, but I have been waiting for 400 years. However, my efforts are worth worthwhile. The forest is restored. Now, shall we celebrate the 400-year reunion? Yes, we shall. And, I, and one of my favorite scenes on Chrono Trigger. 
this particular scene is really important though because a lot of a lot of people theorize something from Chrono Trigger to Chrono Cross here. I realized something during these past 400 years. I believe that we may have been incorrect in our assumption that Lavos was responsible for the creation of the gates. What do you mean? This is not a certainty, but I have come to believe that some entity wished for us to witness these events. Perhaps it wanted us to see all of these various ages. Alternatively, it may have wished to see them for itself. It seems that almost as if those reflecting on a day's past. I don't know. Person dies, see life pass by, others say. I like how Chrono's asleep. Before death claims a man, he is made bare to witness a second time those memories engraved most deeply upon his heart. <clears throat> there may be fond memories among them, yes. But as often as not, though, the ones which grieve us are the most profound. Knowing that the end is approaching likely reactivates dormant feelings of regret, the desire to return to those moments in the past. Do you suppose that will happen when our, when our time comes? Probably, who knows? Is there, a point you, is there a point in time you'd wish to return to, Luca? Mm, uh, no, not really. I'm sorry, but I probably shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay. It's just something I don't want to think about too much. Hmm. But even if Lovell did not open the gates, his fate clearly is bound to that of the one who did. Lovell has played a role in every age we've seen. He's right. And in Chrono Cross, he does too. Then what do you think it is? Then what do you think it is? It is unknown to me whose memories these are. It is, like, it is likely that an entity greater than any of us. Perhaps we will not know until our journey has come to an end. Shall we turn it for the night? Now I'm going to say this. I do think that that entity that they're talking about is fate from Chrono Cross. The machine fate. That's my theory. And I love how Maga sleeps here too. He just sleeps with his cape up like that. Okay. There we go. And right here evokes him. Look at that, a gate. Now, this can also, you know, help uh, enhance the ending as well. Basically, Luca's mother, her legs basically get crashed here. What's this? June 24th, 9, 9.90. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but he blew me off again because of his research. I don't get it, but whatever. Who cares about this stupid science anyway? Girls don't need to know about that stuff. Dude, a science nerd is hot, okay? Little did she know. The password to shut down is the, the device is the name of my one true love. Use it as an emergency. You know what? The password to shut down the device is the name of my one true love. Use it as an emergency. And her name is Laura. L-A-R-A. Hmm. Let's see. What is this thing anyway? Tavon said to keep away from it. But it's so dusty, surely it wouldn't hurt to tidy up a little. My skirt! It's. I'm stuck! Luca! Luca, help! I can't pull it out. Oh, jeez. Password? L. A. R. A. You know what? What's interesting? On the SNES and on the uh, on the Nintendo DS version, you actually have to put it in the controller. This one actually gave you the opportunity to actually look at look for it. That's actually interesting. Almost too easy in a way. Mommy, thank goodness. Luca, oh Luca. July second, nine ninety. That was close. I think I'd better study a little more about machines in case anything like that ever happens again. Dad promised to go hiking, blew me off with the research. Nope. Oh. Well, something good happened. Right back to Fiona's Fiona's forest. Oh, look at that! TG6 is up.
That was always weighing on your mind, was it not, Luca? You're always thinking of others. Well, I have a present for you. It's a piece of amber I created using the sap from the trees in the forest. It required 400 years and a great deal of pressurization to make. I hope you will find it useful. The green dream! Yep. You're so sweet. Thank you. Mm -mm. <laughs> and Fiona's forest is done. And I'll see you on the next episode. Much love. Peace! Bye-bye!